go plain or elaborate, the easiest way to update any area of your home is by changing out the hardware, whether it's your cabinets, doors, drawers, or even your furniture. Hi, my name is Ron Collins. I'm the president of First Impressions International. Welcome to our facility. We are a 20-year-old manufacturer of architectural door hardware right here in Deerfield Beach. What's unique about our particular company is we are highly customizable. I tell people if you can think it and imagine it, we can manufacture it. Get ready to see an array of hardware trends and options on today's SoFlo Home Project. Welcome to SoFlo Home Project, I'm Elena Capra. I love picking out hardware for projects because it's like that final touch of jewelry to any area of the home and it's the easiest way to make a great impact in your new build or home renovation. Today we talk to the experts about what to look for when selecting hardware for your drawers and doors, the latest in trends for hardware for the home, creating cool custom door pulls and handles, and so much more. So we're here today at First Impressions Hardware Facility in Deerfield Beach, joined with Ron Collins. Ron, welcome to SoFlo Home Project. Thank you, Elena. It's great to be here. So it's great to have you, and I think this is going to be extra special for our viewers today because we're really going to be focusing on hardware options for the home, whether it's cabinets, furniture, door pulls, so there's so much, and you've got so much here. We do. So talk to us first about what you do here. Sure, so in our facility here in Deerfield Beach, we manufacture door hardware uh, throughout the home, and we manufacture in three basic substrates. Uh, we work with hardwoods, with acrylics, and with all types of metal, whether it's stainless steel, brass, bronze, or aluminum. Very cool. And there's a lot of great stuff behind you. As a designer, yeah. this makes me happy to see all of the options. So I think it'd be great to kind of share with the viewers a little bit of the background of kind of like what we've got behind us here. Absolutely. So uh, all of these can be utilized for any door within the home space, whether here in our own showroom for uh, drawer pulls or so uh, cabinet pulls the front door space, uh, wine room, cellar rooms within the bathroom, uh, the shower door pull, anywhere there is a handle hardware piece we manufacture. It's a great way to put it. Let's talk about some of the, the drawer pulls. These are oversized, really large scale, which just makes it such a beautiful piece and a great statement. Yes. Is that something you're seeing a lot of and that you do a lot of here, the large pulls? Yes, that is definitely a trend today. The more contemporary style, oversized, and that's something that we tend to specialize in. Now, well. when you open this drawer, just peek back at what you got in here. Here you have, looks like all of the handles for interior doors and obviously a lot of different styles. So these are for entryway or uh, doors within the rooms. And all of these are uh, solid brass designed, uh, forged by us in all the contemporary and even traditional styles. A little of everything. Here. Exactly. Uh, it seems like the more contemporary finishes are more popular. Everything from matte black to uh, a, a satin brass. I love that. I'm seeing that's so popular right now. We're definitely seeing a lot of that satin brass and brush gold Absolutely. finishes. So you've got it covered here. And this could be everywhere from all of your interior doors, closets, bathrooms, bedrooms, yes. everywhere. Yes, exactly. What if someone wants something a little bit more different and special? You guys can do that too, right? Absolutely. We always say, if you can think it, we can create it. So, so let's see some of your creations. <laughs> what have you got for us? So, um, well, we have uh, this particular pool. Now this was designed for a, a high-end, uh, luxury condo and this is the it's entry gorgeous. pool. So this is a custom cast piece. Now what are these feathers? Also door pulls, yes? Absolutely. So this is uh, actually a feather pull for a national uh, restaurant chain that we do uh, nationwide. Very cool. And we've got uh, something really cool behind us. So this is a, a Flying V guitar door pull, believe it or not. Uh, this was done for a commercial uh, property, but uh, we actually have people that have 
music rooms that are avid musicians that love unique pieces like this. Very cool way to add that personalized touch to a special area of your home. Now, what's this axe behind us? That is really fun. Yeah. <laughs> this is a unique piece, which is a wood and stainless steel axe head that we actually manufactured, not a real axe head. And this actually is a door pull that opens up. So just about anything you dream can tie in a theme and really be functional as well. Exactly. From lumberjacks to uh, beachgoers. We, we have it all. Cover. <laughs> exactly. Coming up on SoFlo Home Project, learn how to make a statement with the latest hardware trends. We're going to talk about how important you are in the process of identifying the absolute perfect door or window for your home and how to protect your home correctly on today's SoFlo Home Project. Welcome back to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra and we're here at First Impressions International with Ron Collins. Ron, before the break, we looked at just an array of what you've got here, but I thought it would be fun to focus on some trends we're seeing in cabinet and door hardware. Absolutely. We've got plenty. We do. <laughs> I think one of the biggest trends are the acrylics that we uh, have. Acrylics is trending very strong uh, from uh, homeowners as well as uh, some of our business customers as well. And you've got a lot of acrylic here, so it's not just like one kind. When I think acrylic, I typically might think this, but you've got colors, you've got textures. We have pioneered a chiseling effect, which gives the acrylic uh, it allows it to refract the light a little bit differently. We only have cast acrylic versus extruded. Cast acrylic is a stronger acrylic that resists bending, cracking, and UV rays. So it's a better quality of acrylic. So it will hold up. Exactly. To very the day -to -day important. Stuff. Yes. Stuff. Yes. Very, that is very important. And you've got some, some great colors. Obviously, all of the cool acrylic with the textured as well as the smooth. Talk to us about what's going on here. So here we have different uh, metal options, even uh, a graphite. Uh, our metals are stainless steel is a very hot trend today, whether it's a brushed stainless steel or a, uh, a polished stainless steel. And uh, brass is always a, a very uh, strong traditional type of material for yes. door hardware. And even aluminum uh, is trending very strong. This is hand hammered and uh, just a beautiful piece. Yeah, when you add that finish to the hammered uh, look, it, it really changes the whole feel of what it could be used for. Absolutely. And now the wood and metal is really cool. That mixed materials look big trend. Absolutely. So we use exotic hardwoods that are sustainably harvested. We're very um, uh, careful with uh, uh, the environment. And uh, whether it's uh, a Bubinga, Ipe, Jatoba, we like to mix uh, the wood and metals together. Here are some stainless steel options. We have brass uh, in different finishes. That's great. And now and these can be used indoor and out as well. So Absolutely. all elements. Yes, yes. Very good stuff. Now, Ron, we've got a lot more to cover with our trends for hardware, but first let's check in and see what TAC Renata from FHIA has for us today. So over the next few weeks, we're gonna take a look at a lot of different things that we wanna consider as a homeowner when we're making the decision to change out our hurricane windows or get new hurricane sliding glass doors and how important you, the homeowner, is in the process of making sure you're making the right decision. In this particular case, we're looking at a sliding glass door. And of course, we, we look at the sliding glass door and what was there originally didn't provide any hurricane protection, wasn't really energy efficient, and for obvious reasons, they wanted to change it out. But during the consultation process, there were some things that we walked around and learned together that are really important on how the door is being ordered and then how the door is going to be installed. In this particular case, you have a very large overhang, which really covers this sliding glass door. So we all know to protect from flying debris or an impact that would hit our glass. But another thing that's not often talked about, which is really a concern, right, when we get hurricane, it's not just the winds or the flying debris, it's the water and the potential for flooding. So we look at what type of overhang you have. In this particular case, we have a very large overhang, so we're not as susceptible to wind-driven rain getting to this door. So we take that into account because we don't have to account for as much 
danger or there's not the same opportunity for water getting to this as there would be if there was no overhang at all or very minimal overhang. We would want to account for that during our ordering process. We would order a frame with a higher rise. We would also do some things from the installation process to account for the potential of more water getting into this area or more water getting into this door. So those are some things that we want to consider and it's really vital for you, the homeowner or the consumer, to be part of that process to really educate yourself and ask the right questions to ensure when you make this type of investment that it works for all the dangers associated with the hurricane, not just one. Hope that was helpful. We'll look at another tip next week. Back to you, Elena. Thanks, Tat. So, Ron, we've looked at a couple of really cool things with acrylic and wood and different other specialty finishes. Let's talk about the finishes that are trending right now. So what's very popular today are the more contemporary style of finishes such as polished chrome, uh, which is also polished stainless steel, brushed stainless steel, uh, a flat black or a matte black is very popular. And also in the brasses, a, a satin type of brass finishes is, is very popular. These tend to be the trends throughout all the major market areas that we see today. Now, would you say when matching finishes with other existing fixtures or faucets or lighting in the home, probably like brushed stainless and chrome and matte black might be the easiest to match, but the specialty ones maybe we need to get a little more focused in on to get the right thing? Absolutely. When you're working with brass, the patinas and the plating, it starts to become a little bit more of an art rather than a science. Absolutely, and you mentioned patina, and I just wanted to maybe just bring this to our viewers so they all understand if you're not familiar with what that is. Yes, yes, which is a nice way to say it corrodes over time. So brass will start to turn green. And then to bring it back to that finish is just a polish? Yes, exactly. So you have options. We, you have options. And speaking of options, there are a lot of options when it comes to hinges yes. for the door. So why don't you share with us some of those? Sure, so we have uh, traditional hinges, uh, some with print and more of elaborate design, others more uh, simple in design. Uh, one trend is now uh, concealed hinges, which in the frame of the door, it is actually concealed. Nice. And that is a very nice contemporary look, very clean lines. That is a great look. And I think something that we have to think about when you are picking your door handles and your hinges, I mean, this is something that's throughout the home. Coming up next, see what it takes to build custom hardware. Congrats go out to Eric Pefley, the winner of the Goya Seasonings Greetings Contest. Eric is now the proud owner of a $500 Goya gift card. And Eric, you know now more than ever, if it's Goya, it has to be good. Welcome back to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra, and we're here with Ron Collins at First Impressions International, literally behind the scenes. This is where the magic happens. So Ron, before the break, we looked at all of the beautiful hardware that you manufacture right here. And I thought it'd be really fun to share with our viewers kind of how every piece is made. You've got a lot of stuff on this cart, a lot of cool materials. Absolutely, so we start with our base material. We call it a substrate, whether it's uh, solid brass, aluminum, stainless steel. And uh, here we have all of our raw material in its raw form, up to 15, 20 foot lengths. Stainless steel, aluminum, acrylics. We have hardwoods, exotic hardwoods. This one happens to be Ipe. And, uh, and then acrylics. Uh, in various sizes and configurations. So talk to us a little bit about how the design happens of these pieces. A lot of design and engineering goes into this. Yes, there is. So we work with professionals such as yourself, uh, designers that have an idea or a concept. And the designer and our company with our engineers work together. We will uh, have our engineers work with um, uh, our software, which is called SolidWorks 
and we take that rendering and we will do a 3D rendering of that and then we'll send it for final approval so that we can put it into a practical uh, manufacturing piece. And that's what we have here. This was specifically a design such that uh, the customer wanted the handle to be offset. That's why we're at an angle here. And then we assemble based on the customer's needs and preferences, whether it is a stainless steel round uh, standoff like this that we uh, ultimately would cut on uh, a tube and assemble like so. So that fits it to it, the door. Exactly, exactly. Ron, I think one of the most important things when it comes to custom anything, in this case hardware, is getting that finish sample correct. Yes, absolutely, Elena. That is so important. Whether uh, a customer wants our finish and to have a sample chip so they can see and match our finish to their particular need, or they would like us to match their finish. Either way, that is really important. Finishing is, uh, as I mentioned before, is probably more of an art than a science. It's a great way to put it. Yes. Because I think when you can get that perfect match, it is art and it completes the design. I agree. Next on SoFlo Home Project, we look at the step-by-step -step process to create custom hardware. Welcome back to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra and we're here with Ron Collins at First Impressions International, behind the scenes, and now giving you an exclusive look on how things here are made. So Ron, show us what you're gonna take us through today. Sure, so this is the Flying V guitar that we've manufactured. These are the actual door poles, so it's not a real guitar, so you can't <laughs> play it, but you can open it. certainly looks like you might be able to because it's that's that realistic. True. Well, that's what we're going for. So this is the finished product, but this is not where it starts. So it all starts over here, Elena. So we start with a raw material, a substrate. And this happens to be aluminum, but we have manufactured this in stainless steel and brass. This looks like a heavy piece. That this is, is solid. very heavy. It's very, wow. yes, it's it takes, heavy. It takes a lot of people <laughs> to lift these things. <laughs> yes, yes. And then we do the engineering where we actually program all the details and cuts. Then we start the preliminary cutting phase, which is what we have here. And then we go into the raw shape of the guitar, as you can see here. And it's all progressive. So this is all rough cutting, which takes out the excess. So it kind of gives you a rough outline, then it's got that rough cut. Yes, that's exactly right. And then we go in with our finer tools and we start cutting in the details. Now, once we have done that, we're still not finished. It still There's doesn't more. look like this. <laughs> so in the area behind us to our side, that is our finishing area. That is the area where we will grind, polish, finish, and arrive at the right end product in patina that the customer is looking for. So in this case, it started in aluminum, in the silver color, but then you get the finish right to exactly what it's supposed to be. It, exactly, exactly. So a lot happens between this to this because those details are beautiful. And yes. in terms of time, is it a very long process for it to be carved just like that? It is a very long process. So going from this state to this state, it literally is about 40 hours worth of time, of machine time. And then when it comes to the manual finishing portion, it's another 10 hours. That puts it in perspective when you say customized piece with lots of details. Yes. This is what it takes. Yes, absolutely. Ron, so you've got a couple of finishes here. Yes. What are the differences? Okay, so this particular one is plated gold and it is aluminum and it is much, much lighter. This, Pretty easy to lift. Yes, versus this one is solid brass. It's hard to tell on TV, 
but this is probably about 10 times heavier than that piece. Wow, and this is not, this is this is heavy, but I think this would require a little bit of workout skills for me to get this one. Yes. Uh, <laughs> to hold it for a while. That's right. You definitely could get <laughs> I'll a good, stick with good this. workout. Well, Ron, this was awesome. I loved sharing with our viewers the behind the scenes, as well as all of the amazing trends and products that are available in hardware for the home or beyond. Elena, thank you so much. It was a pleasure to have you here and to, to show you what we do and how we do right here in South Florida. There are not many manufacturers like us here and uh, it is a pleasure to have you and all of your guests here too. We got some great stuff today. Thank you again, Ron. And to our viewers at home, thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you learn a lot about what goes on to create hardware for your home. And we hope to see you again next week for another episode of SoFlo Home Project right here on Local 10. And remember, there's no place like home. SoFlo Home. Next week on SoFlo Home Project, we tour a beautifully renovated property redesigned by a homeowner who got inspired after tackling a home repair. If you miss any part of this episode, or if you're looking for more design inspiration, make sure to check out all episodes online at SoFloHomeProject.com. You could also submit your own design disasters, and you never know, we could be knocking on your door to help. And don't forget to follow us on social media on Facebook and Instagram.